Good morning. We are just leaving, literally right now, the park up where we were last night, and we are headed to Austria, to Innsbruck, which is a little city in the Alps. It has a Primark. We fancied a city day, so let's do it. We're going to Austria. I'm so excited to go to a new country. A new country. Mitch is excited to go to a new country because it means he can get another country flag sticker and put it on the back of the little house. <laughs> we technically are in dire need of several van jobs that we are just putting off right now the back is a state our cupboard one of our food drawers the child lock snapped on it and we don't have another one so that is being held shut with a bungee cord right now which is working well i think it's work it's just so ugly yeah. and annoying um it's a complete mess all my clothes are all over the bed towels drying down there and we have a big old bag of rubbish in the front with us that has been here for like two days because there's no bins we can't find anywhere to put it nope. so the van stinks we need desperately to have a chore like day all of these things will take us like a day we've got a lot of laundry piling up as well there's washing up in the sink yeah we need to do a van chore day but we weren't feeling it today so we're going to Austria. <laughs> How excited are you for Austria? I'm very excited for Austria. I'm just, honestly, I'm just stoked to go to a new country. I imagine it's gonna look the same. Stoked. We've just stopped at Ace Services where we found some bins that we've been able to get rid of our rubbish and stop for a week. I need some water. to drive on the motorways you need a vignette which I think is this sticker on the sign that we can buy hopefully from this building right here hopefully oh my god he's slightly uh, okay three meters we're under three meters which is all good hopefully ah uh, well let's get ourselves a vignette we are literally two kilometers away from the border so we're getting a vignette here in the Plessy Museum oh it's a museum How is that, that's cool yeah so coming from Italy by the looks of it, you have to come to this museum to get your vignette for Austria on the A22. It's a beautiful road, I, we really recommend it to be honest. This is really cool. I'm intrigued to see what's inside here. Okay. The first example in Italy of a museum built on a motorway. Okay, this is a museum. About a motorway. About a motorway, it's a museum about a motorway. We only wanted a vignette, now we're in the fanciest services literally ever. Hello. Uh, vignette. We have it, we have the vignette. Yes. Very interesting, very productive. Yep. Yeah. These two overland rigs just here. Look at the oh the white one. Wow. Whoa, crazy. Damn. So we have arrived in Innsbruck, the city of Innsbruck in Austria. And it is actually pretty beautiful to be honest in the background there. Look, wow. Um, apparently it's the capital of the western side of Austria, the Tyrol region. So we're going to go explore. Oh, see what you've seen. Cute. Oh look, fridge magnets. Fridge magnet secured, as well as a sticker. Buzz in. Buzz in. Mitch's hair's gone all straight for some reason. <laughs> it's so weird. I haven't looked like this in years. Why has it gone straight? <laughs> just, where have the curls gone? I need to put some uh, salt spray in when we get back and just salt sort spray. me out. Because this is... Look at these. Bad hair day. Bad hair day. What an incredible building. Wow. 
I don't really know what I was expecting from Innsbruck, but this is this is nice. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. So for some reason, the sound didn't record on these few clips here in Innsbruck. But here we are eating some massive slices of pizza that we got for about four euros each. So it's probably the cheapest place to eat out in Innsbruck. It's called Magic Pizza if you go in. We really recommend it. It was really nice. Then obviously afterwards, Lucy needed some dessert. So there she is with a gelato. Very happy. You can see from her eyes and her smile, she's very happy. And there's me with a leftover pizza. So we carried on checking out Innsbruck, eating the gelato and the leftover pizza. And then we got a bit thirsty. So we found these cool drinks from a shop. Lucy had an innocent. And I had this weird little juice mango thing. And it was probably the best thing I've ever drank. And here we are, putting the country flag sticker on. Which I was buzzing about, obviously. Nice mountain in the background there. And Lucy putting on the Austria flag. Oh, look how proud we are. We're so proud. Look at that. Fwah. Amazing. <laughs> Leftover pizza. Mm -mm -mm. We found a park up in Austria for six pounds twenty a night. Um, it's right by the largest waterfall, largest mountainside waterfall in Europe, and uh, it looks like this. You know, pretty standard stuff. Austria seems quite hard for overnight parking, but we've, we're managing. Six pounds twenty a night. We can just about stretch to that. Good morning, from. Austria somewhere, there's some mountains just out there. It's all rather nice. We are trying to be consciously slower with how we're traveling. Everything is just feeling like, you'll, we date stamp all of our videos, so you'll see how fast we're traveling. Um, and we're driving like three hours a day and it's just seeming a little bit unsustainable to us right now. So, we're trying to be slower and calmer. Hence why I'm just in the van making pancakes for breakfast this morning. Nice and chilled. Mitch is still in bed. He's having an easy one, taking it easy. I am a little bit itching to go out and see the waterfall that's out there. But we're slowing it down. The waterfall is not going anywhere. We are off to go and see the waterfall. Is it the largest mountainside waterfall yeah. in Europe? Apparently so, according to the signs. So it's not a single drop, it's lots of little ones. Yeah. But we saw it from the lay-by yesterday. Yeah. So now we're going to go check it out. Up close and personal. Up close and personal. <laughs> Let's do it. So these are the Krimler waterfalls. They're a tiered waterfall. The first drop is 140 meters. The middle is 100 meters. And then the drop, the, the bottom is 140 meters. So there's like tiers to it, but they're all massive. So I'm really excited to get there and see what, it's, see what it looks like. Ah, so here it is, where we pay. Astra knows how to get you money. Yeah. Oh, do you want to see something that's just naturally there? Eight euros, please. <laughs> what have you got? Fridge magnet. That is a very cool one. Okay. I'm so excited. We made it in. Nice. Everything, you have to pay like at 10 steps. We have to pay to get on the road to get here. We have to pay to park here. We have to pay to get into the waterfall bit. And then when we get there, we'll probably have to pay to take a photo of it. <laughs> probably. In the photo pass or something. Ah, okay. We're in a national park now. Nice. Points to stop at, and each one seems to be getting better and better. So cool.
video is probably going to be like 12 minutes of pure stoke. Just waterfalls. Waterfall! We love waterfalls. We love waterfalls. We do. This place has lots. Uh... Hmm. Nice. Ah, just need to keep up with uh, Lucy's Coke Zero habit. Here you go, my love. A fresh bottle of Coke Zero. I mean, the fake stuff. Freeway, mate. The fake stuff. I'm yeah. not allowed the good stuff. No, we've been over this, okay? We've been over this in the Black Forest, okay? <laughs> we just made it back from the waterfall hike. Cooking some gnocchi. Mm -hmm. We are hungry. Um, if you're in Austria, though, you better go to Crimmel Waterfalls. It is amazing. It was very, very special. I was just expecting like to walk up, look at a waterfall, and then it would be done. But it was like a hike. Yeah. And you went, there were so many different platforms you could look at it from. There was a kiosk right at the top with a restaurant. Oh, and there the, was a proper little vibe going on. Yeah, it was really cool. It was it was a really, really good day, to be fair. When I say good day, I mean, it's only quarter to two. Yeah, but last was done. <laughs> now it is knocky and chill. I wasn't paying for the restaurant. No. <laughs> I got bored of editing, so I'm going to make a lasagna. Because we have an oven. We can.